People are flocking to Las Vegas as more casinos reopen for the start of the NCAA tournament. We got a live look at the city for you tonight, and it is bustling. The city is home to some of the world's largest sports books, and this weekend marks 90 years since state leaders in Nevada legalized gambling. News Nation's Nancy Liu visited that busy resort earlier today, and I spoke with her about the increase in foot traffic now that some of those restrictions have been dialed back. Nancy Liu joining us live from Las Vegas, where um, who knew there's a pandemic? March Madness is going on. Nancy, there are a ton of people in the pool behind you. Uh, give us an idea of what the atmosphere there is like right now heading into yeah. this big basketball weekend. <laughs> At Marnie, March Madness pandemic style in Vegas is a party. Behind me is the Circa Stadium pool. You can see people are thrilled to be in the water watching March Madness. The NCAA tournament always been a big draw for this town, but all bets were off last year due to the pandemic. The betting and bracket busting are well underway inside Circa, which touts the world's largest sports book. This place was made for March Madness, and some are walking away with a lot of cash. Man, it's great. Great atmosphere, music, the crowd. Man, hope I win some money. We were confined for a long time. This is my first plane trip in a year. Brian Hefty comes to Vegas every year from South Dakota. He's among many reluctantly adhering to restrictions. I hate the mask. I, we hate wearing masks. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it's still okay. It's just we're easing back into this thing, so it's a little weird. The weirdness and operating changes are welcomed by Derek Stevens, the owner of Circa and other casinos. Smaller crowds are better than no crowds, and last year's total shutdown. Oh, it was tough. I mean, March Madness is the biggest week of the year in Las Vegas, and to have it canceled, it impacted you know, everyone impacted families, it impacted the economics. During the shutdown, Vegas became a ghost town and unemployment peaked above 34%. Today, it's still around 10%, but trending downward. Just this week, the state allowed casino capacity to increase to 50%, which appears to be the case all over downtown and along the Strip. The rug got pulled out from under us last year, so there's a lot of pent up demand, as you can see. March Madness hasn't really even started. We're just the playing games here, and everybody's excited. The excitement is evident. It has the Shooty family of Dayton, Ohio, working to avoid the crowds. Noon to two, it picks up pretty pretty strong on the strip. So, um, no, I think everybody's done with COVID and, and being restricted. So. I agree. <laughs> it will take a lot more visitors to make up the losses here. According to the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, 2019 was a big year with 42.5 million people coming to town. The pandemic last year cut that down to just 19 million. Vegas is counting on more people like Jay Espinal of the Bronx. Keep safe, wear your mask, get vaccinated, and come to Vegas. It's number one. Woo! that it may take up to about two years for the Vegas economy to fully get back on solid footing. But another good point right now, Marnie, that it is the start of pool season, and obviously it is a huge draw here at the Circa Stadium Pool. Wow, it is so busy. Windy, too, Nancy. Can you give us an idea off the strip how things are looking economically? Are things busy, starting to bustle again? Yeah, we are definitely seeing this place come back to life. I've been here two times in the past year, even when it was a ghost town, and you definitely feel this place coming back alive. Another big sign is the return of a big convention. The World of Concrete has uh, confirmed that they will return to Vegas in June, and it's hoped that, you know, that will trigger other big conventions to come on back to Vegas. Wow, busy weekend in Vegas. Nancy Liu live for us. Uh, thank you. Have some fun this weekend and be safe. <laughs> thank you.